So I saw this post by this woman uh, by the name of Liz Wheeler. I think that's her name. And she basically posted um, uh, some type of chart where it says the least attractive hobbies for men according to women. And she said, this is 100% true. Men playing video games is peak unattractive, beyond red flag, like deal breakers on. It's weird that so many dudes don't get this. So I'll just read it, what, 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 it's, what it's saying on here. Uh, they say the highest one was playing video games, uh, next collecting figurines, next magic tricks, next online trolling, next gambling, next building model trains, next taxidermy, uh, next comic book collecting, next bird watching. So for me, my, my thought on this is whatever is bringing in the magic trick thing is hilarious. I mean, who's walking around doing magic tricks, right? That's like a small percentage of folks. But whatever makes a man happy, whatever a man enjoys doing, why does that make women so upset? Or why does that rub them um, the wrong way so much? This looks like judgment. That's what it looks like. Anytime, you know, a man will, um, you know, play a video game or engage in, um, you know, something that he finds fascinating and interesting. Um, I just don't understand why that is rubbing a woman the wrong way. In your relationship, he might look at the fact that you may tell, you take a thousand pictures all the time as what else are you doing with your life? Like, but he won't because that's something that you're into. You can be on Pinterest all day long looking for different things to, to wear or, or decorate. Um, you could be someone that's into horseback riding. You could be someone that, um, you know, loves uh, going to the beach or, uh, you know, loves uh, playing games on your phone that you got apps on your phone that you, you're playing Candy Crush or whatever it may be. You could be someone that likes to collect a ton of shoes that you don't even wear. Um, you, um, the online trolling thing, I, I just don't understand why that's not included. It makes, don't, no one troll more than women. Women trolling other women. Women trolling celebrity women, right? Uh, gambling, like, you can gamble too. You could be gambling, playing the lotto. You could be someone on there spending unnecessary money. You might not be gambling, but you have a shopping addiction. Um, you know, so just looking at all these different things, and it's just very fascinating. Fellas, do what you love. Do what you are into. Um, and if that rubs someone the wrong way, and you need to do more, um, uh, I guess, more appealing things to them, uh, or, or, or approved activities by a woman, um, you need to just keep it moving. Uh, it's very interesting that uh, these individuals out there are so consumed on what makes somebody else happy. A relationship, fellas, is not about you changing you. A relationship is someone seeing you as is and you seeing them as is and you like, you know what? I love you. I love you like that. We're going to grow as a unit. And, and, and continue, but if you can't be 100% yourself in a relationship, if you can't watch anime, if you're into that, you, if you can't, um, you know, play these video games or do this or that, um, you know, at the end of the day, that is, you know, if you're changing those things for other folks, it's a red flag, um, and that's a red flag for them as well, of trying to change you, so it's very interesting that these same women that will put all these things on here talking about, I don't want playing video games, I don't want them collecting figurines, but he can cheat on you, he can lie to you, um, you know, he can manipulate you, uh, you know, he could be a mama's boy, um, you know, he could be a womanizer, he can do all these things, and, and, and that's not a deal breaker. He can he can give everybody around town pregnant. Um, he can. He can give you all these big promises, but none of them come true. He can gaslight you. He can be a narcissist. But God forbid he want to play a video game. Sit this one out, Liz.